Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is candied bacon, also known as pig candy. Well, pig candy is right up there with the likes of Texas Twinkies and armadillo eggs as far as classic barbecue snacks go. The concept is pretty simple and so is the execution. It's essentially just bacon that's coated in some sort of sugar and it's smoked until it's candied. And the great thing about pig candy is the flavor combinations are pretty endless. So you can experiment to your heart's content until you find exactly what you like. I'm gonna start with about a pound and a half of hickory smoked thick cut bacon. I'm just gonna lay this out on a greased wire rack over a pan to catch anything that falls through. And then we'll get to our toppings. First thing we're gonna put down on top is a little bit of barbecue sauce for everything to stick to. This is the Blues Hog Raspberry Chipotle. Just sort of brush that across the surface. You're gonna pick up a little bit of that flavor, but also it's just great for getting that rub to bind to the meat. All gonna to melt together in the end. Now for the sugar, we're using a smoked maple turbinado. So it's gonna add that maple flavor, which obviously goes great with bacon anyway. And it's smoky. Another popular choice is just to use brown sugar. But you're gonna go fairly generous. It takes quite a bit for it to actually candy the top of that bacon. We're talking like one to two tablespoons per slice. Now we could stop right here. This would definitely get the job done, but I like to add a little extra seasoning. Today we're gonna to use Killer Hogs Texas brisket rub because once again, thinking about things that I like that go together with bacon, pepper. And this Texas brisket rub's big on that pepper flavor. Also that extra saltiness, I think, complements the sugar really well. And that is it. And today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running at about 250 to 275, anywhere in that range is great. We've got hickory pellets. And we're just gonna slide these right on the main cooking grate next to our uh, Dr. Pepper ham that's going on the other side. Uh, if you have the second shelf in, you can totally use that as well. But a little bit of radiant heat from that diffuser, especially at these lower temperatures, not a bad thing. Well, the pig candy's been on for about two hours now. The bacon is fully rendered out and that sugar has melted into the top. So you can see we've got some really nice browning going on and that sugar has really just like formed a layer on top of the bacon. These are ready to come off. Now, immediately after these come off, I'm gonna transfer them to a parchment lined sheet pan with some pan spray just to make sure things don't stick because they will stick to the wire rack, that's for sure. I definitely uh, recommend putting on some cottons and some nitriles to do this because that sugar on top's uh, just molten syrup that'll burn your skin uh, if you touch it right now. It's gonna firm up and stick you up a little bit as the bacon cools down. I actually use maybe a little bit less sugar than a lot of people, um, but it's all preference. You can use as much or as little as you want. We just want just the right amount of sweetness. Let's let that cool down now. Well, our pig candy's cooled down enough to handle now. As you can see, it's got some rigidity to it. That's that candying on the top, and you can see that shine. Oh man. It tastes like candy. Certainly sweet enough to be candy, but this is my kind of candy because it's got that savory undertone. Big pepper flavors from that Texas brisket rub. The sweetness is nice, but man, the fattiness, it, I mean, the texture is incredible. The way that renders down, cooking bacon on a rack in the smoker, in the oven, my favorite way to cook bacon anyway. You add everything else that we did today, the sugar, the rub, this takes it over the top.
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue or barbecue legends are made.